easy as pie. Thank you, Amazon. Got me glowing. Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. And unfortunately, I think some of you guys are going to hate me today for today's video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have a problem and I wanna share it with you today. And that problem, I think might be like an Amazon addiction. And I wanted to share with you all the goody goods that I have got from Amazon, like over, not I was gonna say over the years, but it's not been over the years, it's been over the weeks. And I feel like you can get a doorbell or a dildo on Amazon. It's so intense. I find that I do like five shots a day on Amazon and I'm like, what is going on? What is this? And recently I went through my order history and I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What have I done? Why have I done this? But in all honesty, I found that most of the things that I've picked up, I've really needed, are super useful and super practical. And you can't really go wrong with some of these things, especially if you are a girly girl, okay? And that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. I feel like there are some great finds, practical finds, things that you actually need and like, I didn't know I need that, but I need that. This is not sponsored. Amazon are not giving me any coin. They're taking all my coin because I spent, I don't even want to talk about how much I spent over the last like three weeks, right? I've had the doorbell ringing about four times a day. Literally, there's one day it was four times, like different Amazon drivers. Like, and you know, they've got the same day delivery. I don't know how you do it. So yeah, I wanted to do that today and go through some of the goodies that I have picked up. I know are super useful for me as a girly girl. So yeah, we're gonna get into this video. Okay, so number one has got to be my facial steamer. You guys might have seen this and you guys know I'm intense when it comes to my skincare. I don't play games. I use like eight or nine products at night, serums, butters, lotions, oils, acids, I use it all, but there's nothing quite like having a steamer to open up your pores. And I'm not someone who, you know, goes to see a facialist. I'm cheap, okay? I will do that-ish at home. I will buy the products, give me my Dermalogica, I can get the Dermalogica. And what have you got, a hot towel and hot air? It's all right, Amazon's got me, okay? This facial steamer is really good. You basically just put water into the water compartment, pop the water in, and you will see in a jiffy, this starts bringing out fresh, steamy water. When I've had a cleanse, or I wanna have a really deep cleanse, or really exfoliate hard, this thing here, what the magic it does, I am radiating after I use this. This looks like it could be like a vagina steamer. Have you heard about vagina steaming? I have, I might, to be honest, it might be a bit too hot, let's not do that. But you know, the thought was there. Maybe if you put it really far away. Um, yeah, TMI. Easy as pie. Thank you, Amazon. Got me glowing. So I wanna stick with some of the girly beauty product stuff that I pick up on Amazon before I get into all the crazy stuff I've recently been purchasing. What I love to go on Amazon are things in bulk, like eyelashes. I know people like, you know, um, Lily lashes or like Velour lashes. I love all these fancy lashes, like these big ones, you know, they cost 25 pounds a pack. But some days I'm like, you know what? I just need a basic, like give me an Anardel or give me one that isn't even written in English. And there are like two key brands that I buy. They're like Amazon only brands. I think they might be from China. The lashes are amazing. You can get them like a 10 pack for 14 pounds. This is actually like the Ardell ones. And I hate going into um, boots and paying six pounds for what I usually pay 3.99 for. I, it just hurts my soul. You know when you know that you're overpaying? It's one pound a lash. Can you go wrong? No. Speaking of lashes, lash storage. I remember scouring high and low when it came to my lash storage because there isn't really the 
perfect lash storage holder and I need to not store one lash I need to store like 10 lashes okay not just one and um, I can't remember where I saw this trick I saw the trick of using a pill box to put your lashes in you can have your Sunday Monday Wednesday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or your whole lashes um, inside a pill box. I really like this. I bought my pill boxes, and this is like a, a one week view um, pill box. And usually I have like lashes for every single day of the week. I like rip them off and try to put them here rather than having them dotted around my house. You know when you find an eyelash in your butt crack? It's strong. I found eyelashes in very awkward places that eyelashes should not be found and then my husband finds them and he's like what is this i'm like whoa give that lash back to me valuable it is valuable it's not a piece of trash it's not crumpled up here give that lash back but yeah pill box pick them up on amazon great way to travel with different eyelashes as well and then i found this like okay let, let's not even take a deep look because my eyelashes had a fight um this set is fighting this set they're not, they're not quite situated as they should be, but this thing is absolutely amazing. This is where every time I take off my like really glamorous lashes, I try and be consistent and store them inside. These look so so. These look so pitiful. <laughs> like I should have been all cute and be like, oh my God, they're always organized. They're not, but at least I know, usually I always put a pair in here. So I know the other eyelash is always somewhere in the rubble within here. Or if I've got the time and I'm being extra, I'll like try and um, put a dot of glue to make sure that they stay in place. But to be honest, just being able to keep my lashes in a box, sometimes I'll just fling them. They get flung into the box. And you know you're always losing one, the pair that you love, and then you end up with an awkward other pair on doesn't happen if you have this baby. So next up are some products that I get specifically for my skin, for my body skin. Um, and I have a video coming to talk about this actually in detail, because um, I suffer from quite coarse skin. I have KP and sometimes I have back knee. And there are products that you can't necessarily find in like your mainstream store. And this is like a French brand, it's called Gatineau. And I use another brand as well called Amlactin. And these are basically lactic acid moisturizers. Now, again, I use these specifically because of my dry skin, I have textured skin, and I wanna be as smooth as a baby's bottom. And I picked up two for the price of one on Amazon, or these came in some bundle. It might even have been three. I can't remember, it might have been three. And I've never seen this brand in store, but it works really, really well. They come from France, they're AHA moisturizers, and they work amazingly for me and my dry skin, bummy skin, and KP. More on that in another video. So yeah, looking at my orders, I get a lot of books. I use Audible a lot, and I don't even have a code. Shout out Audible, hello. Um, I buy some goodies for my baby. I bought like a little cap, a shower cap, which is really great for when she's in the bath and she doesn't like the water going on her face. I bought that on Amazon, some hair products from Amazon. Um, Aphidophilus, hello, my probiotic. Wow, I'm even buying medication on Amazon. Strong, yes, my acidophilus is from there. And then selfie sticks, lighting. Now, you guys are gonna see this, but I've been kitting out my new studio and I went ham, absolutely ham, and found some great products. Number one, the lipstick storage of lipstick storages. I basically was quite careful because I've gone onto Amazon in the past and bought like all their like makeup storage stuff and found that it wasn't as practical as I needed it to be or like the gaps weren't the right size or things didn't fit in it the way that it was fitted in and I know lots of people want to pick up acrylic acrylic storage boxes for their drawers or stuff. These are not the lipstick holders, these are the lip gloss holders, but these are phenomenal because I'm actually more of a lip gloss girl and liquid lipstick. Found this, what's amazing. Also, when it came to storing my makeup and my goodies, I realized not to pick up the stuff that says makeup storage because it's at a premium price and actually it's a little bit awkward and doesn't work. So what I realized is you can buy fridge storage, which works way better. So these are actually 
fridge storage boxes. These are boxes that you put inside your fridge to put different food products in it. You get it in like a pack of six. They're much cheaper than the dedicated makeup storage, way cheaper and way more practical. So I think I got a pack of six of these. And this was in the fridge section as well. And actually this is for drawers that divide up like your cutlery and, and like your utensils. And I was like, I don't need a cutlery divider. I need a lipstick and lip gloss divider. And these fit so well in my IKEA drawers. And there are different sizes. So there's ones that are a little bit bigger, a little bit narrower, a little bit shorter, and they just, fit so well and so rather than paying the premium for the makeup storage items sometimes if you go into the kitchen um storage section you find way better options Whoa. so these these are amazon goodies you probably see these everywhere these are coffee table books i have the dior catwalk coffee table book this is the chanel coffee table book and i've got the large limited edition tom ford coffee table book my husband looked at me like i was a crazy woman for buying these huge books to put on a coffee table and the likely no i will read them in my own time right now i'm keeping the plastic on them okay right now right now i don't know if any of you guys come from a household like an african household where your parents keep the plastic of things as long as possible like a sofa um i remember there were certain things that just had the plastic on them for like a year like mum was not ripping it off that's what i'm gonna do with this coffee table book okay hello tom ford these coffee table books are some of them are limited edition there are lots of different options there and i love the fact that they recommend other ones but i knew i wanted the tom ford one i just love the way the chanel one looked i felt like it was black and white i love the floral oh, we can open this one up then inspiration inspiration again i'm going to say it's a luxury it's not something that um everyone needs to do or you need but i feel like i, I, I don't even have an answer i just wanted the cute coffee table books <laughs> like I just, I just wanted them actually i will be honest with you i went to the dior exhibition at the victoria albert museum it blew my mind, my creative juices were flowing and I was like, oh my gosh. They actually sell this in the v &A Museum, I believe. And they have different editions. This is the newest one, the complete collections from including cut the current um, creative director, which is Maria Grazia. Um, there's over 1,000 photos in here. When I went to the exhibition, I was so inspired. Even hearing the story of Christian Dior himself after going actually bankrupt, and then like, it's, it's such a beautiful story and journey that I was like very proud and excited to pick up this book and be inspired because sometimes you need that. And they look cute, okay, okay? You guys might also see that I have a beautiful kind of um, tray display over there. Who needs a tray display? No one needs it, but I wanted it. But I feel like you can find cute little display items on Amazon, it's just so easy. I, I got that from Amazon. I also got these from Amazon as well. I love displaying real greens and faux greens. So this is a real plant. I've got other real plants, but I got a few plastic plants. If you can't keep plants alive, that's all right. That's all right. That's okay, I was there. I, I, and you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am there. I'm not a green finger, I'm more of a Twitter finger kind of girl, um, but my husband waters them for me. <laughs> so I have a combination of faux green and real green, but you'll never know the difference. Um, okay, for all my wig wearing ladies, boop! I showed you this, this is um, Sheba, Queen of Sheba. Uh, me and Sheba have been friends now for quite a while. And Sheba was an upgrade from the styrofoam head that always face plant regularly. Sheba showed me that my wig did not have to be disrespected. Sometimes you'd find my wig thrown on the ground somewhere in a ball, looking like a struggling cat. But Sheba changed the game. And now my wigs are stored lovely on Sheba's head. And, um, it's so funny. There were times where I was looking for like wig head or mannequin heads and I could see them for like 40 pounds, 50 pounds and I own over 10 wigs and I'm like, I'm not spending 500 pounds on wig heads but um, Sheba was, how, how much was Sheba? I think Sheba was 
four pounds and this was the most affordable wig head I'd, I'd, I had found. Obviously you can find the styrofoam heads, but I hate those heads. But this one, look, look how realistic, like we're related at this stage. I mean, she's a bit more ashy than I am, but um, really, really practical. These do not tip over. I use the pins that I also got from Amazon to pin my wigs on Toshiba and she looks glorious, bald or crowned with a wig. Um, love Amazon for these. I've got like four Shebas now and I will replace the styrofoam ones, but you know, the environment and all that jazz. From doorknobs to dildos. So when it comes to my delicates, my bras, my panties, I love to get my drawer dividers, which are actually fabric boxes that you can zip down and make flat. I know IKEA have their own version of these, but I find that you can get nicer ones on Amazons that have a little bit of a design to them, and also they're different shapes. And I find that they fit my drawers a little bit better. And not every day does anyone have the time to get to IKEA. I find that when I have my delicates all organized, nice and tidy, they stay tidy and it feels like, oh, I actually want to be inside this drawer, not like, ah, why is there so much underwear? Um, underwear is one of those things that when it isn't organized, it isn't attractive, but when it's all rolled up and all cute and fancy, it, it just makes your heart feel like warm on the inside, no, no? And it makes you really want to like dress the girls like after it's like, oh, I'm going to wear this lacy number. So I like having my underwear nice and organized. Finally, I get a lot of my homely stuff from here. Things such as shelving or little display shelves or mini shelves, they have so many options. And you guys often ask me about my room divider. My room divider that you guys see in my background is actually from Amazon as well. And I think it's great to divide up a space, but also hide mess. And I feel like it's great if you're either like sharing a dorm room or sharing a bedroom, but you need something to like, you know, separate your space from someone else's space. And it's just a great way to add a little bit of dimension, a little bit of style and uniqueness to your space. I bought my room divider for £64.99 on Amazon. Came next day delivery, amazing. So guys, that is it for me. Those are the goodies that I feel like lots of girls need from Amazon. Don't hate me for this. I will have links in the description bar below. I feel like a lot of the items I mentioned are actually really practical. They're not just throwaway like pieces of rubbish. It's like stuff that you actually use. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I use every single piece that I actually pick up from Amazon. I try not to go on there too much and just any thought that pops into my head like, ooh, I'd love a flying magic carpet. I wonder if we could buy one on Amazon. Like, no, I don't do that. But because I've been like trying to sort out my studio and trying to make sure that every corner of my house has a function and is useful and valuable to me, I spend a lot of time on Amazon and it's great. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And in the meantime, I will catch you all later. Bye.